What is up everyone? It's Mike here and today we have a nice video for you guys. We finally got all the gears and galaxy trucks from Walmart and you know what that means. It's time to rank my favorite to, well, I guess my least favorite to my favorite. So if you guys remember way back when we collected all the fire and ice trucks, I made a video basically counting down my favorite, well, my least favorite to my favorite fire and ice truck, and I would like to do that again with the Gears and Galaxy trucks. Now, there is a reason why I did not do this with the Zombie vs. Hunter trucks that we had last year in 2020, and the main reason being... There was just too many zombie trucks. I think in total there was uh, maybe four hunter trucks. And it really wasn't that much. I mean, with the fire and ice trucks, I think all in said and done, we had about maybe 22 or 16 or 20 even. And now we have a nice even number of 16 for the Gears and Galaxies with 8 Gears trucks and 8 Galaxy trucks. So basically I wanted to come on here and since now we finally, it took so long, but as of now, as of November 30th, 2021, we have every single Gear and Galaxy truck that is currently available for purchasing. And I don't think we're going to have any more. I can see maybe a couple more trucks maybe in series three kind of like how fire and ice kind of jumped into uh 2020 or 2021 no 2020 right yeah with like horsepower and soldier fortune now those trucks if that does happen and there are trucks that will be released they kind of missed the cut <laughs> um i kind of want to make this just for this year for 2021 the full 16 gears and galaxy trucks right off the bat I just want to say that Spin Master did an amazing job with these trucks. We had no idea how they could fire up, follow up Zombie vs. Hunter, and I think they did a really fantastic job with these things. They all look good, even though, if I had to say, I'm a little more Team Galaxy, just because I like those trucks a little better, but I am going to try to be fair in this. I'm not going to try to be biased. Um, yeah, so let's start this off. There's 16 trucks. Eight of each team, and with this being said, I might do a, uh, we might have a series here, Team Gears and Galaxy vs. Fire and Ice. Hmm, I don't know, something to look into. But with that being said, let's go with the truck that I think is probably the worst one in my opinion for 2021. Alright guys, and coming in at number 16, this is actually pretty tough. Once you have all the trucks in front of you, and you're looking at like, what one you like the least out of all of them, it's actually pretty tough, but I'm going to have to say this one. Now, this did come out in a double pack, and it's none other than the Gears Blue Thunder. So, the reason why this truck is so low on this list is, honestly, I don't know. I just, personally, out of all the trucks in this, out of the 16 trucks, I feel like this is the one that kind of gets left out for me. I mean, I like Blue Thunder. I remember when Blue Thunder started in the early 2000s, and Lyle Hancock was driving it. It's just, I don't know. I feel like, with the Gears theme... Blue Thunder, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like, uh, it just, to me, I don't know, just out of the whole bunch, I mean, it's kind of a toss-up, but this is actually pretty hard to choose. I mean, I like Blue Thunder, but I don't know. I just, I, I, there's really not that much. I mean, I love the matted white. I like how they kept the Blue Thunder. Um, maybe what they could have did was made the Blue Lightning or, like, the Galaxy Color Lightning something like that the fact that it's white i think kind of puts it lower on the list i mean it's hard to choose but if i really really had to pick once i'm looking at all these this has definitely got to be the truck number 16 for me maybe if they put like purple for the lightning to have like the galaxy coming through or something like that that would have been cool but nonetheless i do like the headlights and this truck does have tail lights so i do like that but Blue Thunder definitely coming in at number 16. So the truck coming in at number 15 is going to be sadly another Gears truck. And it's a truck we really haven't seen that much of. And I think that might be the reason why. So Soldier Fortune, or actually, I'm sorry, Alien Invasion. Um, yeah, I called it Soldier Fortune. But um, Alien Invasion, I mean, we haven't really seen this truck as much. We did see it in the Dirty and Clean pack. But other than that, really no singles for it. I mean, the truck looks good. I do like the blue on it. 
I do like how they made the windshield blue all the way around. I like the blue headlights, but it's just, oh man, it's tough. This is actually really tough. I mean, Fire and Ice was pretty tough, but this is, these trucks are done so well, and like the detailing on them is so good. It's just, uh, Alley Invasion, I mean, I don't know that much about this truck. That could be it too, but I don't know. I feel like with Galaxies and the whole Galaxy theme, I can see why they made this into Gears, but... I don't know, I mean, it kind of makes you wonder how this truck would look gal in the, like, Galaxy version-wise. But nonetheless, definitely near the bottom for me, at least. I know a lot of people might put this truck near the top, but yeah, it's going to have to come in at number 15 for me. And the truck coming in at number 14 is going to be our first Galaxy truck, and it's none other than Dragon. So, I like Dragon. Last year, we had a ton of Dragons, and one thing I really like about this is the eye, how they made it into a star, and I do like the transparent horns. However, the other Galaxy trucks, in my opinion, are a little better, and some Gears truck as well. I mean, I do like it. It does flow very nicely. I like how they have Dragon on the side there in that pinkish kind of magenta color. And, you know, you're just looking at this compared to all the other ones. Dragon, I mean, one year we got overloaded with it. But uh, I would say this Dragon is probably the best one we got this year besides the Showtime one. But I don't know. I mean, the Galaxy trucks are just so nice. It's so hard to choose. But really, if I had to choose between the rest of the trucks in front of me here dragon's kind of like the oddball out i'm a huge fan of dragon i do like the truck but i don't know i just it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb to me for some reason i don't know maybe that's because dragonoids here and that's a dragon maybe i don't know but nonetheless good work on this spin master just i really think this is near the bottom of my list here the next truck is gotta be this one it's gotta be another team gear truck and it's gotta be whiplash now i actually didn't know this about whiplash but on the side there on the rear corner panel here i thought that was just in the paint it's pretty cool how on the gears truck you can see all that however uh, I don't think there's that much going on to put this truck any higher on the list besides that. With that little added detail there, and just the way the front end of the truck looks, I gotta rank it ahead of Dragon. Also because I did not know that was actual a uh, design right there. I thought that was just part of the, uh, the blue paint job on the truck. I do like how they outline the headlights in blue. I mean, overall, it's a pretty solid looking truck. It's really nicely done. However, I mean, you, you look at certain trucks and it's like, what could they really have done, you know, different on it or make it pop more? I just think it's one of the trucks that what it is is what it is, and it's just got to sit a little low. I am ranking it higher than the trucks before this just because of that little detail because honestly i did not know that and if you didn't know that like me it really makes it pop especially on that matted white also with on the fenders here on the hood i mean right here too with this little kind of i don't know what that's called maybe like a whip or antler or something but um I didn't know that was there. I didn't know all those little details were there. And for that, that's why this truck is not ranked any lower. All right, so now this is starting to get really hard. <laughs> but the next truck, man, I feel for you guys if you guys are Team Gears because I'm kind of <laughs> throwing you guys under the bus here. But here it is, the next truck in the list. It's got to be Soldier Fortune. So the first time I see this truck, and the first thing it reminds me of is if you ever played Modern Warfare 2 and you see like the snowmobiles or Halo in the snow or anything like that, that's the first thing that comes off to me with this. And it looks nice. I like how they added the blue for the taillights. I do like the camo. The camo on this is my favorite of all the Soldier Fortunes. I love that snow kind of camo they got going on. And, you know, it just it flows really nice with the blue windshield and everything. However, there's just trucks, like a lot of trucks in certain cases or certain themes, there's just trucks that are better than it in certain ways. And... Once again, this truck, I think, falls victim to, you know, what, what what else could they possibly do? However, for what it is, Soldier Fortune, I think they did a knockout job with the camo on it. It has that, like, snow effect going on, especially with the tires or the moon dust tires. And it just honestly looks like something, you know, that would drive on the moon or something. So they did a great job with this. And I really love the camo. I love how it wraps all the way around. And I think that is the best part of this truck. Also, the blue tail lights, that's a nice high touch. They could have just made those red, but they did take the time to do that. So that's pretty sick as well. I mean, all said and done, 
decently looking truck. Not much they could have done with it, but they did a great job nonetheless. This next truck will not be a Team Gear truck. It will actually be a Team Galaxy truck. And with that being said, it will be Zombie. So Zombie, I think, falls victim to what else could they have done. I mean, the Galaxy trucks are really, really good looking. I love a lot of these Galaxy trucks. And you guys are probably getting that vibe just from how I'm ranking them. But I do like what they did here. They did make the arms that transparent kind of purplish blue, which I really do like and it's a nice looking truck however it's just i don't know i mean there's just something when you look at all the galaxy trucks and you look at them and you look at the ones i have left it's just kind of like this one sticks out to me where you know it it uh, i mean the galaxy trucks i like because they put a lot of details into those this one i like because of the arms but i feel like Maybe they could have made the brain transparent now that you're looking at it. That would have been kind of cool, but that's part of the diecast metal. I do like the star in his eye. I mean, the teeth were normal. I love the paint job and the tires on these Galaxy trucks. They are just so nicely done. I mean, oh, Zombie just sticks out to me in a way where it's not one of my favorite trucks, and I like it the least out of all the Galaxy... Well, not the least, but second to least out of the Galaxy trucks... I mean, it's a nice looking truck, don't get me wrong, but uh, I just feel like it's gotta sit low on my list, or at least mid-pack on my list. Next truck on my list might actually come as a shocker to the guys that know me, and if you guys know me and know what trucks I like, but I'm gonna have to rank this one pretty low. I mean, it is still pretty cool, but I mean, there's only so much you can do with it, and it's none other than the Team Galaxy Megalodon, and yes, Team Galaxy Megadon doesn't even crack my, well, actually this 10th, right? So this truck actually breaks my top 10, and this is my 10th favorite truck. I had to count, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, I mean, once again, you know, some trucks they can do certain things with, like Zombie with the arms. However, I do like Megalodon more than Zombie, so I am a little biased on that. And, I mean, come on, it's a Galaxy Shark. How could you not like it? I do like the transparent fins on the side. However, I don't think that's a lot to crack the top five with the other trucks that are currently in this theme. I do like this. I like the stars on the side. I like how the two-tone went beautifully done. And, hey, you know, what else can you say? It's a Galaxy Shark. It is going to crack my top ten. You could say I'm a little biased because I do like the truck, but... I mean, there's really not much more they can do. Maybe they could have made the eyes a star or something on the front. But with that being said, I mean, Megalodon, it's Megalodon. And at least it's one of the nice-looking Galaxy trucks. I know a lot of people do like this one. But trying to be fair, trying to do ranking with a detailing and see what trucks, you know, what they could have done. I don't know. I just feel like this one deserves to be in the top 10 at the very least at number 10. No lower than 10. Now, the truck coming in at number 9 is another truck that's victim to only so much stuff they can do with it, but I still think it looked pretty great, and it's none other than the Son of a Digger Gears. So this, I really like this truck. So this one, the thing that really stands out to me is that matted white. You just see so much of it, and it looks so good. That's like the selling point of this whole truck. Now, this truck actually does not have any other kind of see-through parts or anything like that, and that's okay. I mean, once again, it's kind of limited because it's Son of a Digger, but I really like this matted white. It's something totally different, something we've never seen on Son of a Digger before. And I just think it's it's a little above Megalodon just because it's something new. It's something we never seen. And once again, it's one truck that, you know, they could have did something like for the Halloween truck, how they put, like, spaceships or, well, pumpkins on the side of the Halloween truck or something like that, but... It, it's, it is what it is. It's nice, you know. Once again, this is another truck that's limited. They did change up the headlights a little bit, so I do like that. And I like how they changed that. It's a small, minor detail. They changed up the grill a little bit as well. And I think for those little two brownie points, and just the way the matted white looks on the flames and everything, looks pretty cool. Now, if they would have made the flames the same blue color as, like, Soldier Fortune's tail lights or the window insert... That would have been pretty cool. That would have been really different. And I think if they did that, it would have been a little bit higher on this list. So the truck coming in at number 8 is probably the only truck that's actually real <laughs> out of all these. And it was a truck that I was actually very fortunate enough to see in person at MetLife Stadium back in July. Even though that show was... It was 
two days because of the storm and the weather, and they handle it. If you went, you know. But, um, yeah, it was pretty cool to see this truck in person, and it looks identical to this. Obviously not the same tires and stuff, but to see this truck in person, and then not long after that show is when I got this truck, and I think that's pretty cool. It holds a special attachment to that because not only was it the only truck of a toy of a theme that i saw in person along with the fire max d it just holds that special attachment you know so i think because of that this truck ranks a little bit higher than what it would and after seeing it in person and then looking back at the toy it it looks spot on i mean obviously everything's not the same with the roll cage chassis and the tire colors but for the most part it looks just like it and i think because of that this truck cracks the top 10 for me i mean i really do like this truck i do like the added details i like how it's it just pops it looks something it just looks really really good it really does and i really enjoyed watching it too but yeah i can't really rank this any lower or any higher just because of that value for it but I would say it was pretty cool because like two days later I ended up getting this truck right after the show so it always holds that like connection and since the Gears and Galaxy I think they're going away for 2022 so we're never going to see this truck in person again and you know it's pretty cool to say hey man you know during a pandemic and when everything was kind of rushed around I got to see this truck perform so I think because of that it cracks the top 10. So the next truck on this list is a truck I probably feel like they should have made in person just because the first time I went to MetLife they had the Monster Mutt Ice and the Fire Max D <laughs> and it would have been cool to see two trucks one actually a gear and one Galaxy which I did get to see Monster Mutt but I feel like Max D this truck should have been made I think this one, this Max D looks pretty cool. This would have been really cool to see in person. And I really like this one. This is actually one of my favorite, definitely in my top three of the Gears trucks. And mainly it's because of that blue stripe. Now, Max D normally has like flames going down the roof in the middle of the truck, but it has a blue flame, which is kind of weird. Like, when do you ever picture Max D with blue? But it works. And then you have like a blue highlighted on the side on Maximus' face, which is pretty cool. I love the way they put the American flag in the middle and in the back. Now, interesting fact, this truck does have red taillights. So kind of interesting that they made Soldier Fortunes blue, but they made Max D's red. Overall, it's a nice looking truck. I don't mind it. It looks really nice with that matted white color that matted white is so nice spin master you guys did amazing with that and i just feel like this truck should have been made in person you know there really wasn't a galaxy truck made and i feel like they should have kept it with max d i think that would have been pretty cool to see this truck in person and honestly this is definitely in my top three for the, the team gear trucks i mean it just pops it really really pops and I don't know, it's just, when you look at all of them, your eyes kind of go to this one first. It might be because of that blue, but it looks pretty, pretty neat. So, the truck that is going to miss the top five by one spot has got to be on. Man, this is, this is tough, this is tough, let's see. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to go strictly for detailing here, and I'm going to have to pick this one. I, I think, yeah. So, the truck that's going to miss... And come in at number six is none other than El Toro Loco. Now, I love this because if you guys remember, there was a five pack from Hot Wheels a long time ago. And it came with a blue El Toro with green flames. When I first saw this truck, this was the first thing I thought of. That was the first thing I thought of was that five pack. And that is pretty cool. Now, I do like the detailing on this and I'm just noticing now when i'm actually reviewing these that this truck does have blue teeth which is really nice i do like the green no other truck in this series has green or that green kind of fire or mist whatever you want to call it which is very nice and also i do like the transparent horns it is really difficult to put this truck in the top five for me because there's just so much detailing on these other trucks but i think el toro this one is a hidden gem i mean Honestly, I like the way the green shows up on that. It's the only truck with green kind of stardust and flames on it, which is very nice. I mean, it wraps all the way around the truck on the tailgate and everything. And I really do like this one. It was really hard to put this at number six, but I think Spin Master did a good job. And I think secretly this pays like nostalgia to that five pack El Toro. 
that was out a couple years ago. I mean, right? It kind of looks like it. The structure's not blue, it's purple. But hey, it definitely reminded me of it. So this is where it gets tough. We got five trucks left. We got two gear and three galaxy. And I'm gonna have to put this one. Oh man, this is tough. You know what? I'm actually gonna put. I'm going to go based on what one I like actually more. So this one's going to come in at number 5. And it's none other than Pirate's Curse. Now, the reason this one's coming in at number 5 is because I just really like the next truck better. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I like what they did here. Now, excuse my Pirate's Curse sword in the mouth for being bent. He's been through quite an emotional wreck but um yeah i like what they did i like how they made a transparent purple for the hat the swords um the swords right here even the bandana on the side i mean this is a really nice looking truck i like the way it sparkles i like how curse is written in blue right there i love the star in the eye now people might say why do you like this truck better than zombie now i like pirate's curse it's not a truck that gets as much popularity as zombie i feel like and i like that so when they take a truck that's not as popular as one of the big name trucks and they make it look really decent that's pretty cool and this truck we haven't really seen much of it this year besides maybe what a couple i don't even think it really had a truck that came out maybe the boneyards or the boneyard uh, pirate's curse so we haven't really seen it that much and i feel like it's been one of those trucks that's like an underdog and it's kind of like falling under the radar ever since it was the halloween truck but i do like Pir pirates curse and i think they did a bang up job with this i honestly think the face and the skull looks better in zombie in my opinion and it just it's cool that they did this with the sword the bandana and the hat because they didn't really have to do that but they made it the exact same transparent as the tires and it looks really really good so it was either Pirate's Curse at number 4 or number 5, and the truck I couldn't decide, but I had to eventually put this one in front. It's none other than Earthshaker. So Earthshaker was probably one of the first trucks that you guys got as a Gears truck. It was in Mix 1, and this is the only Gears truck with red on it, which makes it pop. It actually makes it look really nice, but the main selling point on this truck is definitely that bed. So it has moon dirt or moon rocks, whatever you guys want to call it, and not only that, but it's actually outlined in dark blue, which pulls the entire look together. When you put this truck next to all the other gear trucks, I think this one really pops. It's one that looks really nice with the color palette. I like the hidden dark blue. I like the blue windscreen, the red in there. I mean, you have the rocks, the moon rocks right here done very nicely. It's just a really eye-popping truck, and it looks really nice to the eye. I think with that, you know, they did moon shaker <laughs> some people call this moon shaker i think they did it really white right it looks really good it looks nice it doesn't look like it was rushed or anything and i like the added random colors of red like when do you think of earth shaker that's red you know and i think it looks really good i mean it's definitely one of my favorite top three favorite gears trucks however there is one more gear truck and there's three more trucks left, so let's see what they are. So the truck coming in at number three is going to be none other than my favorite Gears truck. So this one was in the last mix, I think mix two, and it's none other than Mohawk. So the reason why this truck is my favorite Gears truck is because of that blue Mohawk, that red on it, and I also really love what they did with the face on the side. They put them in a space helmet, which is awesome. And they made blue headlights on the front of the truck to match the windscreen and the Mohawk. I think that is just done terrifically. That is done nice. This truck flows so nice, so put together. The matted white with that red. Now with Earthshaker, it's really not that white, so you can't really tell because of all the black on it. But I think with that red and this matted white, it just pulls the whole look together. I like how the goggles or the sunglasses, there's that kind of like yellow shine to it, and it's making the whole face glow. I mean, hands down, this is, in my opinion, the best looking Gears truck. They did everything right on this thing. They made the headlights the same color. It just looks so nice. The color palette flows so nicely. 
it's a really mean looking truck and you know something for mohawk where they could have just made the mohawk blue and called it a day i love the added touch with the face i love how they put them in a space helmet they did not have to do that but they went the extra mile they did that and it just pulls off the entire look of the truck i'm pretty sure when i did the mix 2 this was one of my favorite trucks in it but um now looking at all 16 trucks this is definitely my favorite gears truck but however there is two more trucks i like more than this but this is just it's just really cool i love that matted white spin master you guys did a good job on all your gears truck but honestly this is my favorite one so we are down to two trucks two trucks both of them are team gear and it's kind of hard to choose which one i like the most but I'm going to go with number two, which is this one right here. And it is a nice looking truck. However, it's I got to put it at number two, I feel like. And it's none other than Dragonoid. Now, this Dragonoid is awesome. This is something completely off the wall. I did not expect Dragonoid to be made into a Galaxy truck. And I just love it. It, it just the added touches they did with this is awesome. So you have the transparent purple nose or nose uh, horn. You have the arms that move with the purple fingers. But the thing I really, really like about this truck, and I don't know if the light is going to pick it up, but the wings are actually a transparent blue. And if you look at that blue, it's the same transparent blue on the gear trucks, which is awesome. I like that knotted touch. I like that. That pulls the whole look together. And then what I also like, too, is what they did with the eye too is they made it like a star like that sparkle and that's something they didn't do with megalodon you can really see it on this side of the truck but they made that sparkle and if they did that with megalodon that would have been cool too but i feel like with dragonoid it just pulls the whole look of the truck together that dark purple with the black roof it's just it looks amazing and this is one of my favorite galaxy trucks it is so hard not to put this at number one but it's just it looks amazing and honestly this is one truck if you're a fan of dragonoid or you just like to collect trucks or you just want to get a truck this is one truck that you're always gonna love i love the paint i love the colors just the whole thing just pulls together one two three and i really really enjoy that blue and like the wing that is awesome i didn't really know that until i really looked at it i thought it was a dark purple but you know that dark blue going with that transparent purple on the wing the wings and yeah i would say the wings definitely make this truck and then there was one and with this one i'm pretty sure everyone would be like oh well you know that's just you know cliche why would you put him number one well let me tell you <laughs> this hands down is one of the best looking grave diggers i've ever seen and we've gotten so many grave diggers in the past where this one if you had to take every single grave digger that spin master has made you throw in the thousand you know one thousand employee you throw in everyone you know the split paint job you know the grandma grave diggers and this is just something totally different and there's a lot of things i like about this so right off the bat you can say it kind of you know at a quick look it kind of looks like the ice grave digger but the thing that really sold me on this is one the eyes in the in the grim face you know i love how the eyes are glowing i love what they did with the stars and number two are these flames these flames are awesome and i also like what they did with the pinstripe they made it the same color it just looks so nice one cool thing they did too is they left the headlights red if they would have made the headlights blue or purple this would not be number one <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. So I love how they left the headlights alone. They made them like that. I love how basically the haunted house or whatever you want to call it right here is glowing. All the tombstones are glowing. It's just a mean looking grave digger. And it's something we never seen before. I love how they even put the blue around the uh, bad to the bone logo and skull. I mean, if they would have put this blue on Son of a Digger, Son of a Digger would have been ranked high, higher in this list. But... I think this blue flames on this really pull the whole thing together. It's just something totally different. I love that sparkles in the eyes on the grim face. That is just amazing. I really do like that. And for that, and me being a huge fan of Gravedigger, that's why this truck is number one. I mean, it's kind of hard to pick, but 
honestly, there's just so much detailing going around. And if you look at this truck, this truck actually has a lot more sparkles than all the other Galaxy trucks around. Or, well, around me. Uh, <laughs> more Galaxy, or more sparkles than all the other Galaxy trucks, at least in my opinion. And this truck really shows it underneath the light here, too, as well. I mean, it's just a really nice-looking truck. So, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for... Gears and Galaxy. I don't think we're going to really see any more, so this could possibly be the final video. Unless you guys want a Fire and Ice vs. Team Gears and Galaxy race series, there might be 16 trucks on each team. So we'll see what goes on with that. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think is the best one. Now, obviously, you guys know I'm more Team Galaxy. I feel like Team Galaxy trucks just look so much better with the purple. But I try not to be biased. I try not to. I try to be fair. And yeah, let me know in the comments what one you like the best. If you guys like Team Gears or Team Galaxy. And I cannot wait to see what Spin Master is going to do for 2022. Um, what trucks they're going to be what they could be like what versus what or if it's going to be another like hunter versus zombie kind of thing or you know i can't wait i can't wait i think spin master does a good job with this especially the walmart one target exclusive with the breaking world records i like that i like how target has its own like kind of series going too i just feel like the walmart series they they they've really been knocking it out of the park i don't want to say the zombie versus hunter trucks are bad but they were good they were good it was just you know a huge pandemic and i think the whole thing with there being a lot more bees kind of killed it for them all right sorry about that my camera died but um yeah we're gonna wrap this video up but yeah i feel like there was too many zombies and not enough hunters with that but hopefully you know in 2022 we'll see something new something cool and if spin master does anything like it did for fire and ice and especially gears and galaxies i think we're gonna have something pretty cool on our hands i don't know what it could be yet but it it could be really anything. I, I, I feel confident with Spin Master doing something. So I can't wait to see it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite trucks were. If you're going to miss Gears and Galaxy. If you thought it was better than Fire and Ice. If you thought Zombies were better. Honestly, I would put this as the best Walmart exclusive set. Now that we have 16 trucks. I would put it ahead of Fire and Ice, and I would put Fire and Ice at number two, and I would put Zombies at number three. That's how I view it. That's how I would go with the whole Walmart exclusive things. But let me know in the comments what you guys think, and don't forget that new videos will be dropping daily here. And don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not, and I shall see you guys in another video very shortly.